On the outskirts of Rumberg in the Western Lakes region of South Sudan lies Wulu. Little is known about this village, but there's something sweet about it. A group of women in this rural community have found new income opportunities through beekeeping and processing honey. 38-year-old Alice Mamo has for many years been beekeeping, a skill she learned from her father and later from her husband, using traditional methods such as the use of beehives made from bamboo. She says that she used to produce honey for consumption in her home, making traditional beer and for gifting during wedding ceremonies. It was in 2015, through a program supported by the UK charity Oxfam, that Alice and other women were trained to use modern beekeeping techniques, harvesting, processing and packaging of the honey for consumers, enabling them to turn beekeeping into an income-generating activity. There are similar programs supported by the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization. Beekeeping has afforded women like Alice independence. <laughs> Tucked away some 25 kilometers away from Rumberg, a journey that takes nearly two hours by car due to poor road conditions. The beekeeping communities in Wulu sell their honey on the side of the road to motorists passing by. But during the rainy season when the road is impassable, the market suffers. Frequent insecurity along main supply routes also poses a threat to the business, cutting off Wulu from accessing bigger markets like Rumberg and the country's capital, Juba. The United Nations mission in South Sudan unveiled a plan in December 2017 to rehabilitate 2,350 kilometers of road to improve security, create an enabling environment for humanitarian partners to reach vulnerable communities and to help boost the economy as traders would be able to safely transport their goods. The rehabilitation of road links will also enable UN peacekeepers to carry out more patrols along insecure roads, restoring confidence among local communities. The 38-year-old mother of four says that she feels safe when she sees UN peacekeepers in her area. With a promising market to turn beekeeping into a viable business, residents of Wulu, a primarily agriculturist community, see that there's an urgency to eliminate conflict between themselves and cattle keepers who migrate to that area with their livestock. Beekeepers have raised concerns about cattle keepers vandalizing their beehives when they reach their communities during the seasonal migration period. Another concern is that the smell of cows forces bees to flee the hives. We need a feast dialogue so that people move to the community and uh, devise uh, the group so that those who always pull down the behavior should stop that so that the life continue on us. There's hope that peace and normalcy will return to South Sudan so that untapped markets like beekeeping and processing of honey can reach their full potential, enabling beekeeping communities like Wulu to have prosperous lives and enjoy the sweet rewards.